Okay, I'm going to do a series of short videos on the on the new medieval bow loom, and uh, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I've got a Roman Roman rigid heddle that was found in the South Shields Fort from 2,000 years ago that I reproduced with my CNC cutting laser. Uh, these are available on Etsy. Uh, this is uh, this this little heddle has got some damage to it, and uh, it's not perfect, but it's got uh, it's got a picture of an eagle on it that I added. Um, that's not on the original. The original's just got some real simple scratching top and bottom. It's made out of bone and copper. Um, I make these out of one piece hardwood. So the, 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 the bow loom is my answer to the ankle loom. I don't like those things and uh, I found that these are exceptionally easy to use. So I'm making them now for sale on Etsy and uh, this video is related to that. I've got uh, quite a few of them that have been sold and I'm going to do an example of uh, uh, warping and next thing we're going to do is warp the little heddle. I'll probably do about four, at least four yards of, because uh, I got plenty to demo with, and I'll have to re, re, re warp it again soon. And then we'll uh, we'll actually stick it on the bow loom, and and I'll demonstrate how easy it is to uh, to get that to get the warp onto the bow loom. Uh, the first one that I did on the bow loom, I was not care, I was purposefully not careful uh, for demonstration purposes. I had the uh, I had the, the warp on and off the loom many times. Uh, I tie the warp on both ends with a figure eight knot so that it can't come undone. It did not get tangled. So I'm going to go ahead and get the warp set up. And uh, uh, so I'll demonstrate that in the next step.